But now, now this one I recognize from the Premier guitar. This is a, sure. this is an iconic guitar for. Yeah, this is. I've had this guitar longer than any other guitar up here. Um, I bought it in probably 1982 from a PA store in Iowa, and um, I was dead broke, starting my business, didn't have any money whatsoever. But a, a friend of mine, I told him about the, the guitar, and he said he'd buy it from me for I think it was fifteen hundred dollars, something like that, and. Um, I had to pay the PA store thirteen hundred dollars, and I was like, "Going, well, I'll make a quick two hundred dollars on the deal." And um, I bought it, got the guitar. Then my friend saw it. The guy was going to pay me fifteen hundred dollars for it. He says, "That's too beat up. I don't want it." And I mean, I was just devastated because I was like, "You know, I, I spent thirteen hundred dollars. You know, I be begged, borrowed, and steal to get this thirteen hundred dollars." Then all of a sudden, I was like, "What am I going to do?" You know. So, um, so that's kind of the start of the the new collection I, I mean I had my own guitars for sale when we first started up the business and sold some pretty nice guitars but this one is a very very special very rare um, a 1957 Strat which is the year I was born also so that's a little near and dear to me and uh, the color is called Taos Turquoise and um, I believe it's been documented that there's four of these done in this color and finding anything from the 50s in a custom color is very rare one sold um, at Grun Guitars just recently, a black one from 1955, and that went for $150,000. Um, Steven Seagal offered uh, $125,000 for this quite a while ago. Um, so, I mean, who knows what it would be worth? I mean, it's so hard to document, you know, what custom color strats would, would be worth from the 50s. But uh, get that neck just for a second, sorry. Sure. But it's just uh, lovingly played, lovingly worn, and... Uh, this guitar says Dave's Guitar Shop more than anything else. We've used this uh, for a pattern for our 25th anniversary guitar. We've used it for multiple photos and ads. Um, yeah. So this one is authentically relic. Yes, it certainly is. This is a this is a relic and 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 above. This is a heavy relic, I guess maybe. Yeah. No, I, I noticed on this guitar that it has a single ply pick guard. When did Fender start putting the triple white black white on? They they did single plies from '54 to mid '59, and then they started the three ply. So again, fun guitar here. 